Hi guys, it's Nani Haichu together with Purple. Hello. Hi Purple, how are you doing? Good. <laughs> okay, really he's doing good. Fine. I'm doing fine, and we're going to see Ryzen versus Ignan for 20. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are. Uh, so we got Ignite, who's got his uh, Paladin ban, because Paladin's a good class, and he's got Warrior, Rogue, and Druid left, and yeah, Ryzen I'll... got yeah. his Druid ban, because Druid's a good class, and he's got a Warrior, <laughs> Hunter, and Mage left. Uh, I disapprove. I think both players should ban always ban Druid. I, I'm playing this tournament on the philosophy that ban Druid, because Wild Growth and uh, Innervator are broken cards. So... Uh, I, I gotta give the edge to the guy who yeah. banned Druid. He's smart. Definitely. He's definitely smart. Like, I would, I would ban Druid myself too, but you still have to say that Ryzen plays Warrior, Hunter, and Mage, which are pretty strong classes. I, too. I guess that can't be Freeze Mage. It has to be Tempo Mage, right? Or it Mech might Mage. be Tempo Mage, actually. Yeah. If you're playing, if you're playing, I guess, like, you didn't ban Warrior or Druid, you're not playing Freeze Mage, right? Yeah. yeah cause That's actually true. Yeah. So there's a Tempo Mage, and then some kind of Hunter, some kind of Warrior. Maybe patron. He's not a Navi though, so he's not playing patron. No, it's got to be control here. Yeah, right. Yeah. So we're going to see an interesting game, and there we go. We're yeah. First one. Yeah. I like. I want to see Rogue. Ignite's playing Rogue, so I'm yeah, excited I about Rogue. Yeah, I have to see Rogue at first too. Uh, uh, we need some friend requests or some uh spectate invites. Right. Let's go and spectate. And uh, nope. <laughs> nope. We, all right, you're gonna yeah. look at us, and we're gonna talk about not the game going on because we don't see the game yeah, yet. Yeah, so we keep drinking at first. You're gonna just watch oh. us take some beers, and uh, in the meantime, Hearthstone's actually going on right now. So uh, I hope you weren't tuning into the stream for that <laughs> because none of that is going on right now. Seems like it's not about Hearthstone today, but not it will be. Um, so we can join the game right now. It takes like some seconds right now. Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Okay, yep. there we go. Oh, apparently, we've got to play some uh, solo player before we can actually spectate some friends. Uh, oops. Wait. Oh. We can't spectate. Oh, uh, we can definitely <laughs> not spectate. So This is the worst thing ever. Uh, you can play minions <laughs> and use them to attack Hogger. You deal enough damage and you win. Uh, so we'll be doing that in the That's meantime. That's not the best thing right now. Uh, this is bad. This is pretty I bad. Don't, I, I don't think I can actually beat Hogger. Okay, we got some help right now. Uh, can you help us? All right, so we drew a Murloc Raider. <laughs> We can't spectate the games. We, no, but we can play Murloc Raider against a 2-1. Uh, so we, <laughs> we have a semblance of board control so far. And uh, we'll see what happens. We're at 25 health. Hogger actually only starts with 10 health. So this should be an easy mission. I think we might be able to get to do this. <laughs> but if you run, a run out of health, you actually lose the game. This is what the tutorial is actually telling me right now. You're actually doing really fine All with right. not... We Do drew a know? blood red fin raptor <laughs> off the top, so let's uh oh wait, we have to trade it. The tutorial is not letting wait, you hit you him in the face. No nobody sees what you're doing, right? No, I'm just trying to be very descriptive of oh, what's I going see, on. I see. But apparently we cannot go face with this. Okay. And we actually have to trade. So the campaign is actually teaching how to Hearthstone players how to play. Okay wrong. guys, if you if you have an idea what's going on right now, we are playing the campaign because apparently we are not able to spectate on an A. So that's the reason why we have to play the campaign right now and not can't tell you anything about this game right now. The campaign is actually pretty interesting though. I did just draw a river crocolisk and I'm gonna play that and hit my try to <laughs> try to hit Hogger in the face. He's You're only so at, excited he's about that. Only at ten health. And again, when Hogger has no health, you win. So that that sounds pretty good. I no, I don't actually have a hero power yet. So let's see how actually, that goes. Actually, people see your game right now, and not the actual game. We're just going on, and it, I have it, no idea what the game is In the, in the meantime, Ignite versus um, Ryzen is going on, and we have no actual <laughs> idea who is winning. Yeah, we have no idea what's but going on right Hogger now. Hogger Smash is a good card. This is just a better copy of Bash, and he went face with it. That's a mistake, Hogger. And uh, we top deck Fireball. This is just Tempo Mage 101. And I think we got him. 
Yeah, at least you won this one. Yeah, Congratulations, you're doing so fine. Yeah, this is more hey, exciting. Hey, can you help us how to set this one up? Oh, that's so yeah, nice. That would be great. Yeah. <laughs> you, uh, <laughs> I, I was beating the solo player. You should be happy. All right, okay. let's see if we can actually get into some games. I think we do, so but let me just have a look in the chat right now because we have nothing else to do. Miss Lethal, no, we didn't. And... Uh, Chat can spectate, I do know. Is this Nani? Yes, yes, it's me, it's Nani. Hello, guys, and this is purple. Say hello. Stop drinking, say hello. Could you just tell them to stop drinking? That's like never ever gonna happen. <laughs> okay, we are not drinking we right should, now, guys. We should date. I will, we'll we'll definitely go yeah, to sure. spectate yeah. right yeah, now. Yeah, I'll I'll I think take we'll you to join McDonald's. like in turn oh, four yeah, or we'll maybe turn we'll five right now. <laughs> what? Large milkshake? Yeah, there's actually some McDonald's. Oh, do we show the loser match? Is that what's going on right now? Um, I don't even know. Do we show a loser match? Uh, how do we do that? Okay, we're just showing a normal group stage, guys. Uh, yeah. Um, oh, oh, we can spectate Ignite. Ah, okay. So we, we actually on this did it, and we can spectate right now. So All right, what we are we going to We see might purple? not have both accounts like watching, but uh, oh, finally! Wait, we do so see we uh, Rogue from Ignite against uh, probably mid range hunter. Yeah, probably because there was a web spinner to get the armored warhorse. Yeah, and there are two shredders, so this is definitely mid range hunter. And, and so far, it's looking like it's going pretty good for the hunter. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you have two shredders on board. There's three guys you against Jessica one guy. You just lost, so um, it's pretty hard for the rogue to win this win. But still, he has like the teacher on board. He has some spells on hand, so yeah, it's looking pretty good for um, for ignite right now or for Ryzen right now. And oh boy, this heal bot turns painful. I guess the Preparation and the eviscerate, it's gonna be able to kill one of the shredders. You, you want to be able to make some one ones off this t shirt, actually contest for easy yeah. trap, but at the same time, you don't want to play him to unleash. So, this is just like a bad spot all around. It's like he is not having a good time right now. So, he's um, gonna preparation eviscerate. Where's the eviscerate going? Is it hitting the 5 3? Is he putting the deadly poison up. What is going on right now? Can we uh, see actually the hand of our opponent? Would that uh, be ab possible? Absolutely that would be awesome. not. That'd be cheating. <laughs> That'd be cheating for that the casters. No, we definitely cannot <laughs> see the hand of our opponent. Yet. <laughs> uh, that yeah, but that'd be cheating. Let's just look at this game from the rogue perspective. Okay, we were really uh, Yeah, we were just pretending. Honestly, yeah. Hunter is just like it's th that hand is just kill commands, unleash the hounds, and uh, maybe a high main or two. Yeah. Uh, but mainly it's just kill command. Uh, so let's just see what Hunter does but with no, actually no factual knowledge of the hand. Okay, let's be honest. You have two shredders on board. You play Animal Companion. How Absolutely, bad that's, can that be? That was probably the best play this yes, turn. Animal definitely. Command seemed really good. Yeah, uh, definitely. The Misha actually doesn't hit people in the face, so probably not the best roll. So slight misplay from Ryzen here. Okay, can, can we actually see the secret of the Hunter? We can't, right? What do you expect uh, the secret to oh, be? There, now there's two, so I'm yeah. even more confused, Snake actually. Snake and freeze, right? Uh, don't you think? Probably misdirection and uh, snipe. Oh, you really... Th what? That would be You're fooling around, aren't you? No, that, that, those are the good secrets in the game. Okay, we will see you right now. If it's snake trap, he's absolutely going to get wrecked by this yes. deadly poison blade flurry. Uh, obviously, it's probably not snake trap, because I said misdirect, so... Maybe bear. So we receive it snake trap bear right now. Is it really is. Good. It is. It's freezing. freezing. Um, and there we go for the second trap. I don't say it's snake, but it might oh, not. Oh, it is snake. Actually, and this I is actually right. such a blow turn. Yeah. It actually. Now looking back at it, actually makes a bit more sense. It wasn't bear and misdirect. Come on, I told you so, but you did tell it's me not so. the it's I not the worst turn you, so for rogue. Like rogue is yeah. almost cleaning the board right now. This is a good turn. Oh, rogue turn. actually is cleaning the board. Yeah, always. there is yeah. definitely nothing He's left. Going to there is definitely trade. nothing left, and he can actually redevelop the sorcerer's apprentice for two mana. Yeah. I, 
Uh, or he could actually just go face. No, I would definitely... Uh, no, just no. No, I would kill the slime. Why wouldn't you kill the slime? By hitting people in the face... Okay, so in Hearthstone, you want to get your opponent from <laughs> 30 to 0. <laughs> and the most convenient way to do that is just hit people in the face. Yeah, you're and definitely actually, right. And actually yeah. killing that 1-1 one, one actually yeah. enables Dr. Boom. Because it was Nerubian Web Lord, I totally of see. I totally see this one. You're right. Okay, so there we go. The rogue has, like... A board. Um, there we go. Well, the hunter, without seeing his cards, like we would totally wreck him. Maybe a juggler unleash hunter's mark. Yeah, that would be a good turn. That'd be That'd a, be a good turn. turn. But um, a high main would be okay too, wouldn't it? Like yeah, given there's no sap from the the rogue opponent, the high main is actually a pretty yeah. good play right now. So if we played high main, the rogue actually had to trade a lot of stuff into it. Uh, maybe. Oh, uh, hunter's mark. Kill commit. Oh boy, mm. that feels bad, man. That feels oh bad. Boy. Oh, that he feels bad too. He got wow. no value out of any of his no cards. No value at all. And the hunter's already top decking, so this is pretty bad. The hunter knows that the rogue has a shredder on his hand already because of the freezing trap. Absolutely. And, and there we go for Assassin's heal. Assassin's does a convenient way of killing Houndmaster. And yeah. So good. that's like what we get out of the shredder. We get. Oh boy! Wait. That was a Houndmaster. That was not a Shredder. Oh, oh sorry. Houndmaster is a really bad four drop with no value. Uh, unfortunately, oh, there's a high main off oh, the top. Oh, there's the that high main. That was a good what draw. What a nice top deck. Honestly, yeah. we only it's need to see Ryzen's hand because he's just top decking at this point, yeah. and he's doing a it's good so job nice. at it. <laughs> he's doing a really good doing job. Doing a good job at top decking. Why would you play here? Like. Uh, all your cards that aren't preparation, then probably go face, because yeah. Hunter has no cards, so therefore there's not an Unleash the Hounds in the hand. Yeah. Uh, however, if you like top deck high main, you might top deck Unleash theoretically. So, uh, At least he's playing Shredder in the middle. That's yeah, for very the nice flame see. tongue dire wolf wow. synergy. He it's is uh, going full face. Yeah, I like it. Uh, it sets up lethal, and there's no cards in Hunter's hand. What does he have? Yeah, There's he one does card. have it's a still unleashed. To us. It's a mystery to us. We have no idea what it is. Is it unleash or is it concede? I don't think there's... I guess Doomsayer would work. In theory. Doomsayer is pretty good here. Uh, and what to do? This is a hard turn. One card in hand, one minion on the board, and a hero power and a dream. Oh, okay. there we go for boom. A tray Okay. That was a pretty good top deck, and he's not that on board. There's only 8, 11 yeah. showing. Uh, sap is okay. You sap the high main, I guess. Not. Well, you can sap the boom, too. I guess that's Why would you sap the boom? I guess sapping the high main is all... Yeah, sapping the high main is just better. Definitely. You could also hit the blood mage and see if you just win. Because there's 10 showing, so you win with, like, Eviscerate off the top. So, like, just you just get, like, a card, and you might win. Let's see if he suicides it, though. Okay, and he's setting up Letha here right now. Oh, okay, Boom we see just a one awareness one. hit right now. That is actually pretty good. But yeah, it didn't still. go face, so that's definitely I good mean, for him. I mean, what is the hunter going to top deck here? He's going to top deck direct damage. We're pretty sure yep. and he has... Two bees. Oh no, he's not. And he has Hunter's no bees. Hunter's actually running out of health. Yeah, he is running out. And there's only eight. Is there a top that gives him nine? That's the real question. The boombot could do four, so like that puts him Wait. to what thirteen. I don't think there's a draw for the win for Ryzen here. So it's looking like Ignite's actually going up one zero. Uh, yeah, I don't. Are there cards I don't know about? That win him the game here. I'm uh, I'm, I'm not really sure. Okay, uh, uh, we try to spectate both of them right now, guys. Yeah, don't worry about don't worry about hundreds of cards. They uh, they're all kill command. Such a bad thing you got out of your shredder. Masterful, oh. I concede. Ryzen playing with the uh, pay to win hero portrait and still losing. Yeah. Uh, Blizzard sending a message that you can actually win with. Non pay to win classes. Still, congratulations. Are we still in a, uh, a nice game to watch? 
<coughs> we're going to try to spectate both of them. That so would be we way nicer. That would be so much nicer to see both of their hand cards, actually. So we have one of the technic guys over here right now Being trying to. Who is also actually very handsome, surprisingly. <laughs> very handsome. Handsome um, technic guy. Pretty good haircut, wearing glasses. Uh, yeah, just good, looks good overall. Yeah. Uh, let's just see if we can actually also be not only handsome, but good at tech support. Okay, let me help him. Um, du bist Deutsch, ne? Wenn einer, wenn, wenn wir einem spectaten, muss der andere uns zum Spectate einladen. We just need Ryzen on the front list. So, also wenn wir einem spectaten... Yeah, we need Ryzen's account. Yeah, tell Ryzen to friend at us. Yeah, oh, we can totally do this. Okay, guys, so what do we have left? Like, we saw... All right, so uh, Rogue One. So Rogue's still going on for Ignite. No, no, Rogue's still going on for Ignite. So uh, it, Ryzen's Hunter is eliminated. So he's left with Hunter and Mage and... Uh, Based on his bans, the mage isn't freeze mage because he banned, oh, he banned paladin and he left a druid and warrior lineup. So it's tempo mage or it's mech mage. So he's probably going to go warrior into that hunter. Uh, I would expect anyways. Uh, I don't know. I might, I might be wrong. I might be crazy. I, I, I definitely think am. Actually. We will see from Raisin the mage next. The I think he will, he will keep into the warrior. Into into uh, hunter. I guess like yeah, tempo. Uh, into uh, ignite one on hunter, right? No, ignite one on rogue. Ignite yeah. one on rogue. So. So I think yeah, we war, will yeah, actually see actually mage against druid. I'm not sure though, but no, no, I the, think no, I think the here druid, we go. The druid is banned. But this druid is not so we will see mage against druid. No, 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 ignite has to ignite one, so he has to stay on. Oh. I see. Ignite has to stay on Rogue. Oh, okay. So see. Ryzen has a warrior and a mage left, and the the mage is not freeze mage. The mage no, is not freeze not. mage. Thus, he will go uh, warrior, probably unless his patron. Then maybe he'll go mage. Okay. Uh, tough call, but I don't think he's playing freeze mage based on his bands. And that is yeah, that's control warrior with uh Okay, we're trying Baron to fake Geddon. so oh we can see both of the hand cards that and the game already thank started. God for take TV's tech support. They are just actually the best. Also very handsome. And um Yeah. <laughs> that's the most important part of course. So Cap we say we see way. warrior against rogue. Well it's like if you play Rogue, do you want to see a Warrior? No, you don't. No, Fireworks and Despite are both very good cards against Rogue, and uh, feels bad, man. Feels bad. Yeah. Uh, oh, that Shredder feels Shredder drops so bad. into the Fireworks, and that just kind of dies on board. And, but there's a Bash, so the Bash is probably getting played before the Fireworks gets used, because on average, you'll take less damage from uh, the second drop coming out. Oh. Oh, whoa. Oh, he's just not going to use the Fire War Axe. Okay. That seems why that Why would he? Uh, that seems like a fair... Well, eventually yeah. you do have to kill that Haunted Creeper. No, it seems like a good play to me. Yeah, it seems... Like, he has one yeah. draw. Wait, wait, why would he do it another way? Yeah, that seems fine. Uh, so, Blood Mage to combo DSI. Acolyte dies. I drink beer. And it looks actually like Rogue's kind of ahead. Maybe? Question okay, mark? let's take a look at the warrior's hand. Uh, he's got a lot of cards and no minions he can play yeah. this turn. So it's oh not the best hand you could have as a warrior. He's going to shield block. Uh, with her using the shield slam, which is always a questionable decision. Uh, and armor up. That seems fine. He has double shield, shield maiden, so something's going to activate the shield slam eventually. So it, it really does seem fine. Uh, so uh, Rogue can have a turn using this Dagger prep oil for three mana and then make a 6-6 six, six Edwin, which it's looking like what he's leaning towards. Uh, Rogue's hand is pretty all-in. It's got nothing going on, really. No card draw, no long-term. Just 
kind of try to hit him in the face and win with what he's got. So yeah, uh, but there's no much else you can do as a rogue. Like rogue is such a bad mas matchup for a warrior. Yep. So you basically go phase. You try to make as much damage as you can, and you as a warrior, you try to prevent this. Yes, absolutely. You're just trying to like hit him in the face with rogue, and if your guys die, you just kind of feel upset. Uh, the Blood Mage will give a second draw. So double chance for Sprint, and there's Sprint. Oh, there's the Sprint, that's, yeah. Uh, that's a good one. That's probably the best card he could have ever drawn. And uh, does he prep the Sprint? So we've already seen an Edwin. I don't know how many three drops have been played, but... Uh, oh, that's a backstab. That's not a preparation. I'm bad. Oh, excuse me. Uh, so, oh my. Assassin's Blade gets drawn, so... He's going to start swinging with this weapon because the Assassin's Blade has been drawn. And uh, you want to get that Assassin's Blade going, right? So, uh, yeah. Let's go, Assassin. Let's start hitting people in the face with the, the weapon. Uh, <laughs> Dr. Boom gets played mainly because it's turn 7 and it can be Everybody played. knows that. Dr. Boom is yeah, like a really strong play 7. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's a good play. Yeah, definitely. And Rogue looks at it and... Honestly, in my opinion, Rogue is actually the best class in the game if you took Dr. Boom out of the game. Unfortunately, it's still a card, so I can't play Rogue yet, but... Ah. So on there, we finally see Backstop. We see our value out of our wild teacher with having win-win-win, but uh, still I have like the feeling... Uh, this Violet teacher is, is dying. Yeah, this Violet, Violet teacher is also dying. Oh. And? Oh Easy. my god. Oh wow, that's not Violet a teacher survives, so that's a big deal. Yeah. Uh there's not a there's not a board clear for uh warrior yet. And Armor Smith does not help clear the board. So Baron Yedin sets up for execute, I guess. Uh but the teacher stays up, more tokens happen, and Baron Yedin probably gets sapped. Something like that. So. As a, from the warrior's perspective, anyways. And you're just like, ah, oh, this is stupid to play Baron again. So he might just choose to go with a shield maiden and armor up, a shield maiden and an armor smith, something yep. like that. He Definitely. could go bash, execute, and armor smith as well, which is also actually kind of reasonable. Because the, the armor smith ends up just challenging the. The one ones on the board, but no, he cho actually chooses to go with the bear again. Which no, is that would actually be my play. Like he's always getting buried. Like the, the white teacher is not able to do anything against this right now, and that's actually a pretty nice play. Yeah, it's uh, it's actually a fine play, and actually, um, the rogue doesn't actually have anything so clean against this. He's got this assassin's blade and a sap. He's got fan and ice of this to kill it, but killing Baron Geddon's actually not that relevant because it doesn't actually do anything in this matchup so yeah. just getting the assassin's blade going your opponent's already low you get to get him to 10 this way he's already low so let's just start hitting him in the face from an assassin's blade seems good still zapping it is not about play i mean the warrior is like 10 health yeah he's almost dead the rogue dead. is like 27 health if the warrior wins this matchup it would be amazing yeah this is uh definitely not the matchup rogue's supposed to win he seems to be doing okay so far. Uh, Shield Maiden seems to be like the most likely play. Yeah. And the follow-up is going to either be an Execute or a Bash. Uh, so the Bash actually heals him for one more health. Uh, because he doesn't get squeezed in the armor up of it, right? But with the Execute, you get the save Bash. And in the longer game, it's a bit better. And also, there's no Execute Activator in the Warrior Hand. So like, that's a very arguable play. Azurdix is actually a pretty good pickup off the stuff. Uh, Oh, low feb as well. Uh, you could actually sap this as well. Or you can fan and ice and face tank it. You could also vest it. Uh, you could also blade flurry and fan and ice. Like, there's a lot of different options from the rogue perspective. I actually don't know which is best. Uh, sapping it is actually probably the best play, but, like, I'm saying that because I know there's a second shield made in hand, so, like, um,. Yeah, well, with limited information, this low feb is actually pretty darn reasonable. And Deathbite. Uh, Deathbite actually deals with Azurdrake. You can develop a shield band to go along with it. You can also develop the armor smith to get the one armor. And then the armor up was free, so it's only a, you only lose two armor by playing armor smith instead of shield maiden. So that's like a, a reasonable play as well. Uh, yeah. And the death bite in the long term actually ends up dealing with the 1-1, one, one, which is nice as well. Yeah, definitely, definitely. 
I would have thought that we say the word in such a right game, oh my actually. Oh, God. I Another sprint. That's a lot of cards. That's so good. So there's I actually ten thought six we from Blade Flurry 10, 11 showing. Almost yeah. lethal. Almost preparation might actually be lethal here. I actually thought we were see the Bavaria win definitely, but it's pretty close game. This is game. a darn yeah. close game. This could go either way still. Uh, Deadly Poison gets picked up, which makes the Assassin's Blade do 10 damage instead of uh, just 6. Uh, Farseer doesn't actually do anything at this stage in the game because it just dies on board, so 5-5. Five, five. Uh, we'll see what uh, the Rogue actually decides to do. I think I think Warrior is actually in a dominant position at this point. Actually, I I I if I could pick being any of these two players, I'd be I'd be uh I'd be Warrior right now. Yeah, this is okay, not worth yeah, the play, right? The he's gonna here. save the Assassin's Blade charge, and that's because he's got more weapon uh, buffs in hand. Yeah, he gets like a Violet Teacher, Deadly Flurry, a this turn or something like that. Uh, which is pretty good. Yeah. So we see a rogue at over ten, uh, over turn ten at thirty health versus yep. a warrior who is like ten health and four armor, yep. which is pretty amazing, isn't it? Like which it rogue it is such a bad matchup for uh, for warrior. Yeah, it's not the best matchup at all. It's yeah. like it's really really hard for rogue to ever win this matchup. But at the same time, at this point, like. Warrior is kind of low in health, but Rogue is actually running out of cards and damage to make things happen. So, uh, that, this is an easy board clear. There's no more sprints. Uh, I, is there still oils left? There's yeah, there's, there's like still one oil left. Like, he played one Tinker's Oil. Yep. The second one hasn't been played yet. So, there's a bit of damage left. Yes. But, oh god, two more weapons and execute. Like, that's going to kill all the minions. That's anything Rogue plays just dies at this point, so that feels bad. Uh, Blade Flurry kind of has to happen at this point, doesn't it? He, he plays the Violet Teacher, teacher before, here. And, I'm the person. and he realizes it's kind of bad matchup. He's kind of just taking a risk here. He's gonna hit face in Blade Flurry and hope that Sylvanas doesn't steal exactly Violet here, and then he's planning to Fanonize. And uh, I like this um, this risk. It's not yes. a good matchup at all. I mean, you have to go face. Like, you know, as Rogue, oh, it's you such a bad matchup. Ma you job. need to go face yes. at this spot, in this spot. And this has to not steal Violet Teacher Just for Rogue to be Just try to make as and many oh, Ignite he is the Violet Teacher. And That's Ignite's so bad. just like, ah, yeah. oh, feels bad, man. That I, I so really good. like what Ignite did there. Yeah. Uh, it was a really good play 66% of the time. <laughs> That's actually so true. I would be and really salty as the um, rock right now. Like, getting the viral teacher is so bad. Uh, but I ignite, so ign Ignite's a pro. He knows, yeah. like, I was taking a risk. It's going to happen. <laughs> I'm probably losing this game anyways. I so need to, I need to take this risk to actually be in the game. The viral teacher will be taken anyways because I'm playing the rock anyway. Yeah. But uh, now we see the warrior hasn't much spells anyway, so... He can trade one of them, and he can play actually his minion. Yeah, it's he's not just he's like yeah, gonna play this Grimash and play safe. Yeah. So Conserve like as much health as preparing. possible. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, preparation actually yeah, actually doesn't do anything yet uh, with this current hand. Uh, yeah, it's looking bad. He's gonna prep this fan and ice, and uh, he's gonna realize most of his deck actually doesn't do anything. Uh, he's gonna get uh, and like most of his cards actually don't do anything. Eviscerate does not help him whatsoever. He's gonna drop a heal butt and uh it doesn't it really doesn't actually do anything. So that feels bad, man. Yeah, definitely. I'm definitely uh, does, but I've like been playing rogue since okay. two thousand fourteen and I've been losing with rogue all <laughs> of two thousand fifteen. So like I understand his pain <laughs> right now. Warrior's a bitch of a class. I see so for you, but the heal is dead does still hurt. Like he would does still hurt, um not so much. Yeah, the he of course the rogue is going for phase. But why do you he want actually, to aim? He actually has a. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's two abyss rates in his hand. That's eight. The deadly poison's eleven. His opponent's actually at ten. He needs to draw one damage after the sludge belcher gets played for lethal. 
He is one damage off lethal. Would you call that never lucky? I would definitely say it's never lucky. Like you have the such better, you have like a minion which pan attack, which is so strong. Wait a minute, no wait. wait. Four from Abyss, four from Abyss, three yes. from Deadly Poison. That's actually eleven. Ah, I just can't yeah. count because I've been drinking all day. <laughs> um, Me too. So Rogue wins. Four plus four plus three is eleven. His opponent at eleven. And so Ignite actually just pulls him. off a goddamn miracle oh because I God, cannot no. count. Is it really going to happen? And, and we're going to see more Rogue because Rogue is <gasps> winning. I see this. And we have another three damage. And we have three damage with the weapon. This is so amazing. I can't yeah. believe it. We actually saw Rogue winning against a warrior. Yeah, maybe Rogue's That's good. It's so nice. Like I definitely can't count, but Rogue's good. <laughs> I mean, Rogue's neither. apparently good. Um. It's wow. just like the worst matchup ever just won this yeah. game. I'm yeah, so absolutely. amazed by this right now. I'm just super excited uh, about that. Even Warrior didn't even have a bad draw. He had weapons, he had shield slams, yeah. he had executes. And Rogue just drew Assassin's Blade and hit him in the face. Yeah, and that's it worked true. out. That and was, Rogue that was really just good. won. We, we are so happy about this because I'm really happy for the Rogue to win. Like Rogue is such a nice class, and but uh, it's so bad in the meter right now. So yeah. we're really happy to see it winning in the tournament. And we got Ryzen with Tempo Mage left. And he's yeah. got a 3-0 with Tempo Mage, which is... Uh, I'm a bit, big advocate of the deck because uh, Unstable Portal is actually a broken card. Yes. That gives you... That make all your dreams come true. <laughs> sometimes. But we will see a rogue and, uh, again. So we're going to see Tampa Mage again rogue, which is, will be pretty interesting. Usually yeah. I like rogue in this matchup, but Unstable Portal is a really fun card, and we just saw it drawn. So, like, anything can happen just based on that card being drawn. Like, the whole the whole game is, like, it's a safe of Blizzard, and that card... He goes for coin and, uh, of course, for the sorcerer. Absolutely. Coin yeah. sorceress, sorcerer brand of image, and you just, like, just kind of hope it doesn't die so you can unstable portal and yeah. play something big next turn. It's a really strong turn one. Yeah. Like, you have a mini with three attack. You have, like, two taunts with a win. Um, this is so strong. And you still have a first we go. win. Oh, yeah. Oh, and he goes to the unsafe portal, gets like he a gets really a nine drop. Taunt. He gets yeah. a nine drop. Uh, I mean, is he gonna frost bolt him in the dome here? Uh, it's very aggressive. I don't mind it. I like being aggressive in this matchup for sure. Uh, unfortunately, like Ban and Ice is actually gonna clear up both his mirror images, set yeah. up for his uh, sorcerer friends to actually just die on board the turn after the dagger but that sorcerer actually will end up doing nine damage if that's the case and that nine's a lot definitely. and he can definitely just actually just play more mirror images and it looks like he's gonna do that so we see the same work in our will the mirror image which Get makes two, two more damage she's phase and, and and rogue's hand is actually com very clunky there's violet teachers but no preparation so there's like no magic to happen this hand yeah like there's it's just going to be a valid teacher pass turn, which is uh, kind of fairly weak. Definitely, definitely. So, so we have like the mage has a really good bird. We have the soldier. We have the flame waker. We have two tons. And of course, the rogue goes oh, for that just right a here. Sap? Wow. Yeah, why wouldn't you no sap, development like, the flame though. waker? You went to. You were to stop any damage right It's like now. such a slow development turn. Though. Yeah. I don't know if I agree with it. Uh, feels bad. Either way, it feels bad. Uh, both turn Like, if he plays Teacher or he sap. Those were the two options. They both sucked. He went with the sap. Uh, I don't know if it sucked less or not, but it's very close. Uh, this, so this turn, um, Arcane Intellect feels like it's a mistake. Uh, it's just like a bit slower. You draw two cards, but you don't end up with like any, you might not end up with any board development. So it's a bit too slow, in my opinion. Yeah. So uh, he can go Flame Waker, Frostbolt, Dome, or he can go Shredder. Uh, yeah. This is like super aggressive. I like it. This is the uh, Smork Life. It's a good life to live. Uh, you usually Actually, don't care I would about have results. Gone for the Shredder, to be honest. 
Yeah. Uh, this shredder is gonna be pretty hard to play next turn. Well, it's okay, like I... it's just it's just getting worse. Like on four, shredder's really good. So we have to see that Eric is to 14 health right now. So yeah. it was a pretty good play for going to the flame He's breaker. He's getting very low, but he doesn't yeah. have that magical fireball card in his hand but yet. But Slayer is like really greedy to do this because he should have expected a low thought, but he's he's going for the shredder right now. Yeah, absolutely. And he's uh, definitely going face for five. He's not trading. Uh, nine is low. Make a rogue have it is yeah. uh, what Ryzen is doing. He's and going um, for phase. I mean, what is Lothar going to do? He's going to hit the one of the two. Blood Mage actually doesn't help at yeah. all. This oh. is such a clunky oh. hand, and Ignite's just got like, oh boy. We have the conceit oh. already. This is so amazing. Like, Tapo I Mage is a really good deck. Yeah. Unsetable portal theme didn't even do anything. It was a nine drop, and it didn't get played, but like. Yeah. So, like. Tempo Mage actually just kind of skipped a turn by spending two mana on several portal and still wrecked Rogue because Rogue had nothing. Yeah. So, like, definitely. Uh, always like concerned with Rogue in tournaments where it's just like, sometimes I just actually don't have anything. And so uh, that was one of those games. But was there a way to win this game? I don't think so. Like, the draw was just too good. And yeah. we're going to see the next game <laughs> right now. Like, oh boy. Okay, uh, that's so uh, Control Warrior with uh, Justicar for sure. And, uh, again, if Tempo Mage, she's got the Scientist. That card's absolutely busted. Uh, so, it's, uh, well, what's the score of the series? It's, okay, it's uh, Vary against Mage. It's Warrior against Mage. The score, and, I don't know what the score of the series. Someone's going to win. <laughs> Two course. Scientists. That is much science. That is all the science in the world. Okay, so we see the... We see Ryzen Mage, actually yeah. saving coin. He has that Flame Waker and that Azure Break, so I actually don't mind it at all. Um, we hear people screaming in the background if that's picked up on stream. Uh, something happened. Sounds exciting. Yeah. But that sign is getting played. It's a really good turn two for uh, Tempo Mage. Actually, it's, it's actually the best turn two in Ovar Stone. So oh, it does. I had no idea. Like, it's the best turn two. It's actually just the best turn two. There's wow. nothing actually better than this. Thank you for teaching me, Purple. And uh, Slime comes out, and we end up seeing a mere entity coming out. Yeah. I for actually sure. don't know the secret composition of Ryzen's sure. deck. Sometimes there's a counter spell, sometimes there's an effigy, but it is the mere entity gets pulled out. Uh, if he plays the second scientist, uh, over the Flame Waker here, he's expecting Death Spite, and it definitely means he has more secrets in his deck. Yeah. Mm. For sure. If he plays a Flame Waker, he probably doesn't have more than Mirror Entity in his deck. He just has two Entities, two Scientists. Uh, so, yeah. It's actually a kind of a weird turn. Okay, yeah, and there we go for the main Scientist, just as you call that, and... Uh, I'm pretty excited about this Warrior play right now because his hand doesn't look like... His hand doesn't do anything, yeah. actually. So that's a kind of embarrassing for him. Uh, you kill the second scientist, you just kind of feel bad about your life. What do you do? I, oh, he's going on the feel bad plan. And uh, that's actually not a good plan. Okay. Feeling, yeah, now we feeling go. bad is... Tends to be the worst. Like we top deck a flame cannon, and there's nothing we can do anything about it. So we go for Edge Dragon and a card oh, draw. Two flame cannon in the Tempo Mage. Yeah. Uh, this is definitely very good against yeah, control. Weaker against Paladin. Weaker against the aggro decks. Uh, yeah. So uh, this deck is just kind of very centered toward being control and mid range. It's uh, it's fine. Yeah, it's pretty good. So we see the mage with some burp present, and yeah, there we go with the slam, of course. And, and slam, and does he use a shield slam? Does he use yeah, an execute? Yeah, why wouldn't he? Why wouldn't he? Like, we have spell damage. He's going to use no, one of the two. he's going to the armor I would probably tend to use the execute, because yeah, he doesn't have too. he doesn't actually have another execute activator in his hand. And uh, uh, he's deciding. Maybe he uses neither. No, he's I've going for the armor smith, actually. And he's going to kill it. And... Oh, he's just confirming that it wasn't counterspell before. 
Yes, definitely. Before uh, u using his uh, his removal spell, uh, sorceress actually doesn't actually do much this turn. He has a an option of a flame waker, a frost bolt, or a flame cannon. But he's two flame cannons, so might as well just use one of those two. And uh, it goes face for uh, initial two, three, four, five damage this turn, putting his opponent to twenty eight. Uh, six drops gonna come down because there's only six drops in the warrior's hands. Uh, what it's gonna be ju uh, shelf maiden over Justicar because um, in next turns he's got Grimash and Doctor Boom, so like there won't be any armoring up involved. So might as well just kind of just develop a bit. Uh, shelf maiden dies to two mana, which is kind of like one of, one of the reasons Tempo Mage is a good deck. You just deal with six mana for two mana, so. Uh, by default, you end up ahead in tempo for sure. Uh, four minions against zero. No brawl in hand. There's a death spite. Is that good enough? Probably not. Uh, Dr. Boom seems like the play. Uh, like, death spite is really good on curve on turn four. But, like, turn seven, which is four minions. Is death spite really your best play? Uh, Dr. Boom, I think, is the only chance of coming back with some ridiculously broken boom bot RNG. Like... It actually just kind of kills like everything on the board. Nope, bitch plays. Uh, he can like armor shield slam the mad scientist, but that that feels really bad. No, he's not even gonna kill it because like he, if he shield slams that, there's a second entity. He can't actually kill anything. He can't play anything. He's just dead. So leaving it alive is, makes a lot of sense. But this is this seems like a losing play compared to Doctor Boom. Um, so low feb, low feb and what? Frostbolt face seems fine. Yep, that's a frostbolt face. That pushes a lot of damage. Uh, there's 9, 11, 12 on board. Brawl, of course, is 10 mana now because of the low feb effect. Uh, so nothing's actually going to get played for a while from uh, from Ignite. Shield Maiden's like, feels bad. Feels really bad. <laughs> so yeah, just heal for 7. You can't swig up your weapon, of course, because um, because of uh, the Frostbolt face last turn. Uh, Ryzen has the option of playing his entire hand. His entire hand can be played here. Uh, 2, 1, 0, plus 5. So that's a total of 8. Uh, of course, like the Azure Drake getting... Uh, the Azure Drake will pull up another card. Maybe you can actually play that, too. Sorcerer's Apprentice is a broken card. Uh, and... Uh, Let's see what happens. He definitely does want to be playing around Brawl at this stage in the game, but sometimes you just don't play around Brawl because it's just more convenient for you not to play around Brawl. Yes, definitely. And we see a pretty strong board of the mage here. I'm playing the Azragan to get more Codler, and we have two spells. Like, we're playing Arcan Missiles. I like starting with the East Portal first. Uh, yeah, me too, definitely. He gets the secret out first. I actually like uh, suiciding the scientist in first before you draw a card. Oh, just a card! That's yeah. two damage for the rest of the game! Yeah. You fight your hero powers, good warrior. Look at me, playing mage with two damage hero powers. Uh, that's actually a good follow up. It's, a, it's also a 6 3. 6 3 is hit hard. Uh, there's 7, 12, 16 on the board. And there's actually just a, just a card for health gain from. Um, the warrior perspective. So that's actually the only way besides Dr. Boom to stay alive this turn. Dr. Boom, and then you swing with the death spite and uh, the boom bots kill everything magically because that's what Dr. Boom does. Yeah, It's definitely. the alternative. So there's two plays here. Uh, I actually, I still think Dr. Boom is like, Dr. Boom intends to be the winning play. Jessica seems like it. Yeah, here he goes. So there he we go for Boom. And that's so hard to do with Boom. Oh, that's so a Mirror Entity. Oh, Mirai I, I, yeah. for, I forgot about the Mirror Entity. I forgot about oh, that. He's just yeah, dead. Like, he's just dead. This is just so dumb. He actually um, needs to hit Doomsayer here. No. And uh, so that's not really Doomsayer here. No. So uh, that's a misplay. So we just see the Serena right here. Oh, we have a mage victory mage. against a barrier. I'm sorry. I haven't been paying attention. What is the score? Yeah. That's really good. Um, is it two two o? Uh, honestly, I've been watching the games, but I haven't been paying attention that much. Seems I've just like been talking know. a lot. 
They know, and the series is they not know. over. So we let's, get, let's get to you. There is a druid oh. left from uh, from Ignite. So this card's two to one, I yeah. believe. Yeah, this card's two to one, and uh, we got Tempo Mage again. It's Tempo Mage one, and we got a uh, druid from Ignite, and that's a wild grow from Ignite because he's a good player. Uh, good druid players draw a wild growth and then draw Innervate, and yeah. uh, Ignite's apparently good. Based on this game, anyways. Uh, Mulligan's East Portal. I disagree with that. That's the best card in the deck. Uh, Rise is receptive, anyways. Like, East Portal is all your so, dreams coming yeah. true. But Mad Scientist is all your dreams coming this true as well. This will definitely be an interesting game. He goes for Mirror Image at the first turn against the Druid. And I'm really, really, really happy to see this matchup right now. Absolutely. Uh, in general, it's like mage favored, but Druid is Druid. Druid beats absolutely everything. Yeah. Because Druid has Innervate and Wild Growth and absolutely broken stuff they can do at any time. And he uh, here comes a turn one Shredder. Yeah. That seems fair. That that was meant I mean, to be played on turn four, but it's on hand. turn one right now. So yeah. that's like a good play. Let's see. Uh, let's see what can be done about this mad scientist. Uh, frost bolting it uh, feels bad because you know uh, there's a two drop that comes out. There's, there's still ooh, there stuff we on see board. The white so you have to drink. It's like our drinking game to drink every white girl uh -huh. we see actually. So yeah, go for this. You have to. Mm. And then we see the mage in a pretty bad situation. He has to cross both the shredder and uh, he gets a taunt, but at he's least actually he gets a secret. Not, it's he's not, as not bad. in a bad spot yeah. at all. Like, he's got this second wild grove. Oh, God. This drinking game sucks for me. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, he's gonna actually just going to cycle the wrath. Will yeah, he right. wild grove or will he hero bar? I like the wild grove a whole lot more than this hero bar. Yeah. But, but he really wanted to draw a card, and he really needs to draw a card. I it, mean, look at his hand. Will he, look at his hand will he fire the missiles here is the question from yeah. Ryzen's perspective. It definitely looks really cool when you fire the missiles. So it might be the play, but uh, at the same time, it's definitely very Dennis. So, of course, he goes for the flame, flame right? card. Yeah, yeah, better than yeah. hero power we? ping, even if you don't get value. Uh, so, Azure Drake, you get in, hit in the face by an Azure Drake and a Flame Waker. Isn't he playing the Alcar Missiles? Yeah. it's gonna, But the Mirror Entity is like he a huge should. bummer. He should. I think he should. Like, he has two on his hands. He has hey, an play both the next to the Azure He made the read. His yeah, opponent doesn't, doesn't have a swipe. And he played... Oh, boy. Ignite oh plays boy. an Azure Drake into this. And that, that just feels bad. Yeah. Oh boy, th that's a really, really good mirror entity. Like you get yeah. such a good mirror entity, you can the do some stuff the right The spell now. power has insane synergy of the current and, and I expect all the yeah. missiles to be go. fired. There we go. For I can missile. Azure Drake is like dead. No Azure Drake is all. very dead. Yeah, the dragon is so dead, and we do have a board as the mage, but we shouldn't forget that we have just one hand card. There is only one card, but that's an Azurek, which gives you more bullcrap to do as Tempo Mage. Yeah. And that is, like, what the deck is surrounded around. Uh, so, Force of Nature has probably got to be the play, or you're just dead. Uh, so, the, th the only decision, really, is if you kill Flame Waker or if you kill Azurek. Yeah, you should definitely kill Flame Waker here. It's very close. Like it, why what if you, what why if Rise is hand the Azure Drake? Like you definitely went to kill yeah, the Azure Drake heads for four, but the Flame Waker is for two. Uh, but if there's a spell, that makes up for the two. Yeah. So it's like it's like super close. It's super super close. Oh, so he definitely he goes for the dragon. Actually, I would have killed the Flame Waker here. Oh, Fireball is a good card at this point in the game, where yeah. it's uh like very close to sealing it out. There's six on board, six from the fireball, seven from the spell power, so that's uh, six plus six plus one, 13. And hero power makes lethal. So if, uh, there's this Dr. Boom getting played. Uh, Ignite's actually just dead. So yeah, he's dead. So, but still, so there we go for Boom. Boom is always a strong turn seven, but 
There's sometimes you're, can sometimes do. you just play boom and you're dead. Yeah. And uh, Ryzen actually oh, is tasty yeah, scary. As as like well played by Ryzen. Friendly yeah. handshake. Both of the players looking super handsome right now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So we Especially saw this one. handshake, and I thought it was a pretty fair game. Like yeah. Uh, sometimes you get stuck with uh, Druid against Tempo Mage, and then Flame Waker stuff yeah, happens, and you're just definitely. like, ow, this hurts my face, my face, my face. I lose because you hit me in the face a lot. Uh, yeah. Uh, the meme continues. Feels bad, man. Uh, not a good dr matchup for Druid. Uh, super well played, but both parts. I don't think I'd ever actually, actually, actually players, none of them really misplayed this series. They both yes, played super well. Yes, right. I think both of them were playing pretty well. Uh, we saw a lot of interesting games right here. But on a side note, I'm really glad this series is over because I actually ran out of beer. <laughs> you know how bad that is for me? Do you know how yeah, bad that is Yeah, I do know, I do know. So we ran out of beer, but we saw a lot of really nice matchups. We saw a lot of interesting games, yeah, and we caused that, that um, was being really interested in this thing. So um, it was actually a pretty fair pretty win. Pretty good series. And yeah. uh, I think we're going to jump to a break. I'm going to grab some more beer. Me Stay too, tuned, guys. guys. There's going to be more Hearthstone. Here's a purple heart for all of you. <laughs> Love you all. Thank you uh, so much for watching. Many thanks to you. Like, I love all not going you guys. Anywhere. And I saw the chat, so thank you so much. We're going to have some more fun. Um, thank you so much for watching, and see you in the next